Okay, hi everyone. We're starting off this mini series making something simple and something we like eating a lot, and it's lemongrass chicken. And first, we're gonna make a lemongrass marinade. And these are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some garlic, some shallots, some lemongrass, and I wanted to show you guys these pieces of the bottom that you make sure you throw away because if you cut them up and put it into your marinade, they become very hard and, and it hurts your teeth because I did it in the beginning and I bit into one and it felt like I bit into a chicken bone and I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> It was just a piece of this lemongrass. So yeah. make sure, make sure you make sure you throw the bottom pieces away. Yep. And if you can't find fresh lemongrass, you can always go to an Asian supermarket and buy it in the frozen section, and they come ground up already. Mm -hmm. And next, you're gonna need some fish sauce, some turmeric, some honey, or any kind of sweetener you guys prefer, and a little bit of oil. You cut it lengthwise, and then you cut them into strips. First, we're gonna start off with a low heat, well, low medium heat. We're gonna pour a bit of oil into the garlic. Let it sweat for a little bit first. Mm, this smells so good. Once, once you see all the garlic starting to cook, you add in your shallots. Grass. And this part you have to let it cook up for a little bit because you want to make sure you get all the aromatics from all of these wonderful smelling flavors. <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> all out. So this takes a little bit so have some patience and just stir it all around so that a little bit of the oil gets all over it. Alright now that it's all softened. Like that. It looks like this, like it's all like soft and wet looking. You're gonna put in your fish sauce. It smells so fragrant in here, you guys. How much fish sauce do you think? Uh, Just to taste? Yeah. Basically, you're gonna have to taste that. I can't really tell. Yeah, because we're making a very big batch for so that we can leave it in the fridge after. So. <clears throat> Put some turmeric in. Some turmeric, some fish sauce, and some honey. We're using cream honey, so it's kind of hard to get off the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you're just gonna give it a mix. Mm, it smells so good right now. Like every time I make this, I feel like I can put spoonfuls of this in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so after adding all that, I had to add another spoonful of sugar because, uh, sorry, honey, because it was a little bit too salty, didn't have the sweetness I wanted. So after all that, give it a taste. See if it's to your liking, which is awesome right now. Very tasty. It's perfect. Mm -hmm, it's perfect. So this is your sauce. You're gonna let it cool down. Mm, look at that color, that turmeric changed it. Mm -hmm. So what we end up doing is we store it in a mason jar and put it in the fridge. When we're ready to make the chicken, we just smother the sauce all over the chicken and we bake it. And if you want to make pork out of it, you have to add a lot of black pepper and five spice powder. And make sure you buy Vietnamese five spice powder because I made the mistake of using Chinese five spice powder once and it turned out horrible. <laughs> like we literally couldn't even eat it because there was something in it that's very different from the Vietnamese five spice powder, but that this with that for pork is awesome as well. I just want to show you our Vietnamese five spice powder, how it's more of a bright red color. Sorry, it's if we don't have the bag because it came in a bag, so we started like this. This is the Chinese one, which is like a darker brown. Hi baby. You don't like the five spice powder? Which one do you like? Oh, you like the Chinese one? <laughs> but that's not good with lemongrass. And this is what the Chinese one looks like. It's a much darker compared to the Vietnamese one. So make sure you guys use the Vietnamese one instead of the Chinese one when you're making pork with a lot of black pepper. 
when you guys are transferring it to a mason jar, just be careful because this is turmeric in there and it could stain, especially if you have little backsplashes like that. That's no buenos. <laughs> so be very careful. Yeah, she's saying that to me because I'm clumsy. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so here it is, <laughs> the final product. <laughs> Lemongrass marinade for chicken or for pork. So let me know if you guys tried it and if you guys liked it. Remember to give this video a thumbs up so I can make more videos for you guys. <laughs> and let me know how it turned out for you guys. Mm, because I love it and Linda loves it. Mm -hmm. Karis loves it Karis too. Karis loves it too. So remember to give this video a thumbs up again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!